us will be working at home for at least the next month. And for most of us, this is a very new experience and it can be at times just a little bit frustrating. Our Stephanie Haney talked with Mo Vela from Transparent Business who has advice that we all could use for how to get through this very trying time. Welcome to my at home work setup. For a lot of people, working from home has been sort of this unattainable dream for a long time, but now so many of us are doing it that have never done it before. Yeah. And it's hard. Why is it so hard? It's different and it's a change. And so, you know, it's one of those things be careful what you ask for kind of things in life. Well, now, you know, we've been wanting to do it for a while and now we're gonna to have to do it. So um, it's really important to set that routine. Get up in the morning and act like you're actually gonna to go to your old office setting, right? Or wherever you work. Um, and, and so that means get up, shower, get ready, put your makeup on, do your hair, right? Put on some type of an outfit that's presentable and then go to what I call establishing your boundaries by designating a specific workspace in your own. I don't know if you're looking at the background here, <laughs> But I'm in a one bedroom situation here. It's not a big space. It, it really feels like my entire space is taken over by work. Yeah. Do you have any recommendations if you are living in kind of a small area? It's important. When you're at your desk where you are right now, for example, try to stay away from there when you're doing personal stuff. So that in your mind, right, and in your heart, you have a break very important right now for us to engage in self-care. So if it means taking a walk and engaging in social distancing or reading a book, but don't read the book at that desk, Stephanie, so that you have a distinction in your mind that'll help rest your soul just a little bit. <laughs> That's great advice. Uh, Steph, I'm wondering if Mo had any advice on how we communicate with our bosses. He sure did, Jay. He said, if you're thinking about sending that text, if you're thinking about sending that email, just go ahead and send it. The message there is our bosses are nervous too. This is also new for them, which is why work from home has been such a scarce thing around all or up until this time. So just go ahead and over communicate it as much as possible. Use that video chat. He also had a message of positivity for us too. And he said, we really need to try to focus on the positive right now, whether that's no commute or being able to eat at home in your own kitchen or spending more time with yourself or with your family if you live with family at home. Very cool. I, I would ask him if he has any advice on how to deal with the annoying delay that we all have to work with, but I'm sure that's a problem that only we are having yeah. to work through. <laughs> Stephanie, thanks. We'll see you in just a little bit with Clicking in Cleveland.